Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I know it's been about three, maybe four weeks since the last time we had spoken or had seen each other or you had seen my last video where I had dyed my hair. Um, this time I'm just going to do an update and what I plan on doing with this. All right. Okay, so update. It lasted me, this color lasted me maybe two and a half, that color that I had previously had was maybe two and a half weeks, I believe, that it had lasted me. Um, I was a little bit disappointed just for the fact that it um, didn't last me any longer, just for the reasoning that um, I didn't wash my hair very much. I just rinsed it out. It stained my pillowcases, like you would not believe, my pillowcase anyway. Um... I washed it a couple times. I can't get it out now. So I'm like, great, I ruined a pillowcase. Um, that's what you get, I guess, for something permanent. It was something that I wanted to try. Um, but now, as you guys can probably see right through here, my roots are really showing really badly. Um, my hair is still like a orangey, coppery color. Um, I'm not too fond of it right now because it looks horrible because you can tell it's been faded um yeah I do also want to apologize for the lighting the lighting's not very good I'm in a room that doesn't have any blinds so I can't really put out natural light to have better light for you guys to see could have positioned it in a better place but I didn't but yeah so it's kind of still like this um so what I do plan on doing um, I'm not probably not going to show you the process like I did last time is might be just like a tiny, small, small little video for you guys of what I'm going to be doing. So I went to the store this a couple days ago and I had bought myself some hair dye. So this time it's permanent hair dye. It is in the color Bellini. I wanted to go back to kind of like almost... A brown color because it's easier for me to fade out a brown than it is a red to my natural hair color again so it's easier for me to do that um it does last me a little bit longer for this um I do plan on instead of using the box I think I'm going to actually mix it in that bowl that I had last time that I had bought I'm going to try that way see how well that works um yeah I'm just getting tired of the red and the upkeep in the red is actually a lot like don't get me wrong I love the red it's just that I'm tired I'm ready for something new I might go back to red eventually at some point maybe when my hair finally maybe actually goes back to my natural hair color which is a blonde uh, like a dark blonde it's like a dirty blonde this is what they call it and or I do depending on the time of the year it turns into a strawberry blonde which is really weird anyway but I do plan on using this so this hair dye is the only hair dye that I actually works really well and actually sticks in my hair. I have tried um, other ones, but for some reason they don't stay very well in my hair. They don't, I don't know, there's just something that they just don't work very well for my hair. So I've actually, this is the only true and trust, trusted, tested one that I've actually used. And I trust that I can with my hair. I didn't want to go too light just for the reasoning that I uh, didn't want to ruin my hair any more than it is, especially if I had to go blonde. I didn't want to throw any bleach in my hair. So I'm going to, like I said, I think I'm going to mix it all up in that bowl and go that way because sometimes these bottles get really messy for some reason and I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. So I think I'm just going to dump it all into that mixing bowl and do it that way instead because I think it's going to be easier because I tend to just end up using my hands anyway scooping it out and putting it all throughout my hair I'm hoping it'll be dark enough to cover this it should I'm going to leave it in a little bit longer than what it says for the instructions in the box I'm pretty sure it'll probably tell me like 25 minutes I'll probably leave it in for maybe half an hour but yeah let's let's double check here real quick what it says for, um this is 25 minutes yeah 25 minutes I'm gonna leave it says for gray hair leave an additional 15 to 20 minutes I don't have gray hair but I'm gonna probably leave it on for an additional 10 15 20 minutes anyway 
Uh, these gloves, I'll use these ones, but we'll see how it works. I kind of don't really like the gloves that they give me, that they give you. The ones that I bought, actually, I really liked those ones better. They fit my hands better. But yeah, um, so I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to go do whatever I need to do to get that all done, have my hair all dried out. Dried out. Dry my hair. I wait until my hair dries to show you what exactly the color came out to be from that, from this and um i will see you guys soon maybe later though most likely later all right so we are back i have now obviously my hair color has changed so this is the color it turned out to be i don't know if you guys can see it really well let me see if i can turn up the brightness here Okay, so it is actually a brown. The light is just not very accommodating to what it is, but it is the brown that I did want. So what I ended up doing is, like I said, I was going to put it into the mixing bowl that I had, mix it up, and then put it in my hair because that bottle is a mess. It it actually worked a lot easier for me that way. Nor oh, excuse me. Normally when I do my hair. I don't normally use a whole bottle or a whole box full of dye. Why? For the reasoning because my hair usually doesn't take a full box or a full bottle. But I actually ended up using pretty much all of it except just a little bit and I didn't want to go overboard. I probably could have used the rest of it just because. But yeah. So am I happy with this color? Absolutely. It looks so much better than what I did before. Um, yeah, I actually enjoy being a brunette sometimes because it actually I don't know it's one of those things where you know yeah anyway so it worked out pretty well I I like the way it turned out um the top part piece here is a little bit lighter because my blonde but that is fine but I'm actually surprised that this piece down here where all my red was actually came out to a decent um so yeah it was actually really Good. I actually enjoyed it. Um, so what I did mention in my last video that I used like this um, Mark Anthony Grow Strong stuff for my hair and I didn't have it with me. So I actually have it with me today. So it is this stuff right here. It is a leave-in conditioner. I use this every time I come out of the shower. So I love this stuff. Like it is like it detangles, it strengthens. Actually I've noticed that ever since I've used it my hair strengthens. My hair does grow a little bit. I'm not saying that maybe that's the reason why my hair is growing, but I'm just saying that it's it's growing a little bit. It's It helps with the breakage, especially because my hair it can be damaged and stuff like that. And especially with um, me dyeing my hair all the time, my hair definitely gets tangled up and it's so it's damaged, especially when I get out of the shower and it's easier to comb and or brush through my hair the one time after I get out of the shower. I also brush it before I get in the shower and I kind of comb it out a little bit when I get out just to make sure that there's no tangles and everything. But yes, this stuff, I love this stuff. Uh, as for the shampoo and conditioner, I haven't tried the shampoo and conditioner. I've also had the hair mask. That actually worked really well too, but I prefer this stuff. It is a spray bottle, as you guys can see. It's amazing. The Marc Anthony Grow Long Leave-In Conditioner. Um, you can find this actually in any of your drugstores. So I found it at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, you can find it if you're an American. You probably could find it at a CVS. Anywhere you can probably find Mark Anthony products. This is the one that you want. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is the final product. It is a permanent hair color, so it's going to last me a little bit longer than what I norm than maybe that red that I tried out maybe a few weeks ago. But then again, I also had a permanent hair color underneath that was a red and it was going down as into a different color or an orangey copper color and it's gone, went back to that color again. So now I'm just back at something more warmer and more neutral for myself and something that it will, at least when I, what is the word I'm looking for? When I at least, my hair starts to, it starts to fade out. It's easier because my natural hair color is already a blonde and it's kind of like a darker brown. I mean, a darker 
blonde, I should say like a really, really, really light brown, it'll be easier for me to transition back into my natural hair color, which is a dirty blonde and or sometimes depending, it is a strawberry blonde, depending and my red tones tend to come out. But final product, brown and color Bellini as per usual. I'm never disappointed with L'Oreal preference. It is my holy grail as is this is my holy grail for my hair treatments. Um, do I have any other hair trims? I do have little, I'm still working on, on some of my project pan stuff. You guys are probably wondering what is going on with that. I'm going to do a little quick update on that maybe in a couple weeks, but I just want to say that I am slowly working on things. It's not as going as well as I planned and, or I hoped as you know, this whole COVID thing hasn't really gone plan and you know me moving and then as it's been just stressful that I haven't had time to really use a lot of that those products that were in there and yeah so and I have I wasn't actually going to put any makeup on for this other half but I put on a little bit just to make myself not look so drab so yeah um, I don't know about any of you guys if with this whole COVID thing when you're wearing, wearing masks, I don't feel like wearing makeup. So I've been wearing a lot of BB creams. Um, that BB cream that I got in that BoxyCharm um, a few months back, that Pure Lease BB cream is actually really, really, really good. I need to find it. So if any of you guys know where to find that, because I can't seem to find it anywhere, please leave a comment down below to let me know where to get it because I can't seem to find it. And I love that stuff. I will actually post a picture here as well too so you guys can have an idea what BB cream I'm talking about. It is by Pure Lease. Um, yeah, I need to find that BB cream because I'm running out and I want to continue to keep using that as it actually works out really well for my skin tone. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you guys and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and stay safe. Bye!